I'd made my way to the part of town Buzz lived in, just as wretched and unappealing as the rest of Darkham. But it was dawn, and that seemed to raise my spirits a little. It was time to look for the voodoo gentleman. Morning. Password? Fidelio. Hello there. Greetings, traveler. The voodoo gentleman, I presume. You presume correctly, sir. And you are? Katype. Don R. Katype. Friend of Buzz's. He was here a while ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's all right, I hope. Is the cat in the same predicament? Still a wisecracking nightmare. Yeah. That's unfortunate. So, uh, what about this Olmstein character? Buzz tells me you says he's a good friend of yours. Yes. Yes, I did say that, didn't I? It's a weird, weird thing about Bob. What is? Well, everything. I understand he's some kind of authority in occultism. The extent of his knowledge is splendiferous. He knows a lot of stuff about a lot of stuff, right? But it's all... I can't put it into words. He's different, Bob is. Well, that went nowhere. Has Bob ever gone by the nickname The Butcher? Oh, no, no. The Butcher? The Butcher's a horrible person, whoever he or she is. Care to, uh, expand on that subject? Not much is known about the Butcher, even in my circle. He's rumored to be into god-awful, unnatural experiments with the dead. Ugh, horrible, horrible stuff. Bob can't be the Butcher, or at least I don't think so. What does he look like? What's his deal? You probably won't believe me, but see here, it's strange. I've been friends with him for decades now, or at least I'm convinced I have, and yet... It's like one of those dreams where you see the person clearly in front of you, yet when you wake, you can't for the life of you describe them. Oh, come on. I'm serious. Bob is, well, he's something else. He's the one person I can really say has changed me. I mean, in his presence, I always feel, um, volatile, uh, inconsistent, vibrantly fluctuating, inevitably equivocal. So we're just listing fancy words now. Do you have a picture of him? Is he on, uh, what you call it, the, the social, uh... Media? I don't think I've ever seen Bob in a picture, and he's... He's undescribable. A uh, true mystery. Not that you'd care, but none of that helped. Like, at all. What can I tell you, Mr. Katype? Some people are just hermetical like that. Getting on to something else. Wait, before that... There's something about you. I get this feeling that you are somehow marked. All right, I'm impressed. Yeah, I, uh, I touched something called the, uh, Shining tra Trapeze... Tra trapeze... The Shining Trapezohedron! Yet, yet you stand here before me. So it's true. You have the Haunter's Mark. Forgive me to throw such a cliche at you, but you truly are chosen. Why, uh, thanks for noticing. Mom always said one day I'd show them all who Don Katype is. Of course, you know, with great dark powers come great dark responsibilities. Oh, yeah. Tenebrous forces consuming and corrupting the mortal soul and all that. Not really a surprise, to be quite honest with you. Wait, about Bob. L let's... Let's not go there again. The more I think about him, the more confused I get. Mmm. Fine. About the Haunter's Mark, what exactly does it do? It is supposed to turn its bearer into a receptor of sorts. Great. Now I'm a receptor. A way of channeling past events that involved said object. The things we could learn about the world by employing its power. It boggles the mind. Hmm, 
Yeah, it does sound kind of useful. Kind of like a superpower, so I'm not complaining. Not exactly a superpower. It's a dark gift, and it may come with great personal costs. Dark or not, I uh, like gifts. I can uh, make my hand glow on command, too. Yeah, that's pretty rad. I'm in the need of some robes to attend the Fishmouth Festival. Think you can help out? The Fest? Whatever would possess you to want to go there? Word of dispassionate advice. Don't. Those are bad, bad people, if people they be. I'm up to my neck in it. Can't really back out now. So, can you help with the robes? I sure can. You're going to need a fine piece of silk, a miniaturized sewing machine, three tufts of recently shed koala fur, Anything else? A cemetery caretaker's liver, voluntarily donated. What else? Uh, you know those fish that kind of blow up into, like, spiky spheres every once in a while? Uh, what are they called? Puffer fish? Yeah, well, one of those. Well, not for the robes. I just really always wanted one. Anything else? Male alligators' baby teeth, but they have to be in pristine condition, otherwise they're useless. Oh, and any kind of indie game developer DNA. Tears have historically proven to be the easiest to procure. Okay, I've heard enough. Don't you happen to have the actual article laying around somewhere? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. Can I just, uh, have it? No, uh, fetch quests or anything? Hmm. Yeah, sure, why not? It was really appreciated at last year's Supernatural Society costume ball, but I doubt it would hit as hard this year. It's in the chest over there. Let me unlock it for you. Thanks, voodoo gentlemen. You're, you're all right. No probs, Donatello. Please don't call me that. So, how do I look? Appropriately stupid and scary, simultaneously. Alrighty then, thanks again. I'll be on my way. Whoa, whoa, hold on a minute. That's not enough to get you into the festival, dude. It isn't. What's wrong? Well, don't take this the wrong way, but your smell. Uh, I, I've been traveling a lot. No, no, I mean, you don't stink! Oh, yeah, I knew that. But you need to stink to be let inside Fishmouth during that unholy festival. Like milk, two weeks after you spilled it on your favorite rug? Quite the vivid imagery, but no, it's more specific than that. More in the vein of... I've had hundreds of rotting fish rubbed against these robes I'm wearing. The festival seems to be a very fish-themed thing. The locals are very particular with their social gatherings. So, rub a dead fish on it, huh? Shouldn't be too hard. I'm afraid that won't cut it, Don. It really needs to be a lot of rotten fish. All right, Mr. Voodoo. Good looking out. I'll try to think of something. Later. Take care now. And take care of Buzz, too, while you're at it. Morning. Brother. 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 Okay. Yeah, I need fish. Sure thing, brother. What type and how much? Type doesn't really matter. Need hundreds of them. Rotten. Oh. That's suspicious. What you need them for? What do you care? I got the milk. I can cover it. Can't sell your rotten fish, sir. Sir? What happened to brother? Anyone can wear a robe. And when they start making dubious demands, how do I know you ain't one of them health inspectors? Do I look like a health inspector? Maybe you're undercover. Yeah, undercover health inspectors. That, that's a thing. I ain't risking my license revoked. Brother. I don't know about that. What's uh, the deal with the hanging chain? All due respect, sir. That's none of your business. I detect a pretty strong smell coming from up there. Could it 
perchance be where you keep all the merch that's gone bad? Now that's presuming a whole lot, sir. Not exactly a refrigerated environment if we go by old factory clues. What old factory? There's a smell, Brother Fishmonger. And nasty stuff dripping from the ceiling. That's my damn business, if you don't mind. Aw, oh, come on, we, uh, we, we, we bros, you know it. I straight up and down don't. Say, you look familiar. What? We all look the same to you Darkamites, don't we? Racist. Racist? Ha, <laughs> not at all. There's just something about your, uh, your features. Your eyes, maybe. You think I don't know the stereotypes y'all throwing round about us? Fish face? Bug eye? And all that sort. Well, I'll have you know, before you make any kind of ignorant comment about my eyes, I've got a sleeping condition, all right? Well, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, bro. Is that bad, are you? You taking anything for that? Yeah, it's bad. And no, drugs don't work. Do you, uh, take sleeping pills? They ain't working for me. I can take a fistful and it'll be like chugging some Joe. Yeah, dog. Life ain't at ease if you ain't got those Z's. Yeah, like you give a rotten fin about my problems. Just trying to empathize here. Do you happen to have sleeping pills around? Yeah, got mine right here. They're yours if you want them. They're no use to me. So what do you do about your sleeping problem? You sure curious. Well, it can't hurt to tell you. Been experimenting with hypnosis and suggestion lately. Hypnosis? Really? Does it work? Well, it ain't been long, so I don't really know as yet. Doc been suggesting stuff to me for some sessions, and the payoff's still to come. What's the payoff? He calls it the Catalyst. It's a secret spoken command. Supposed to make one fall asleep instantly. So, did you get yours? Sure did. But I'm scared to use it, to be honest. Doc says I might sleep for three days straight. So, out of curiosity, what's your secret command? Doc says I ain't supposed to share that with anyone. Why? It'd cause chaos in my personal and professional life, it would. Yeah, I suppose it would, wouldn't it? Plus, if I told you, I'd just fall asleep instantly. And then it'd be all awkward, wouldn't it? I suppose it would be, yeah. Catch you later. Your secret command is bubble wrap. I bet I know what your command is. I'll bet you you don't. Bubble wrap. How'd you? Huh, it worked. I have to admit I had serious doubts, but it, uh, it actually did. And it was time to get my robes dirty, so to speak. So, this was it. Stinky old fish meth. Smell-wise, it was probably the fishery I'd just come from times a thousand. I was blending in like a professional and itching to sink my teeth into whatever fish meth had to offer. Except the local food. I've got... a rotten egg? Well, I can't smell it anyway. I, I guess I'll keep it. And... a name tag. Randolph. You're mine. Uh, 
I guess stinking horribly yourself negates the downsides of rummaging through trash. So, here I go. Oh, got a really rotten egg. Oh yeah, squishy goodness. And, uh, a boot. Okay. I'm picking it up. Oh, God, I'm actually doing it. Oh. Evening, uh, brothers. Yeah, yeah, what do you want? Just seeking passage into the uh, derelict industrial premises you're currently eclipsing. Don't come here wasting my time, you hear? I want to get inside of the abandoned factory behind you, brother. Just say so, huh? So are you, Molusco? Me? Molusco? Huh. Mr. Confused Identity over here! Well, who are you then? Pescatori? Yep, in the flesh. Oh, good! You're finally here! I tell you, they say the worst that could have happened probably happened. I always knew we shouldn't trust that psycho with the meal. The meal? Are you serious? Oh, I see what's going on. You're questioning my clearance level, huh? Yes. Yeah, I thought so. Don't worry. These guys are hardcore, but they took a vow of silence, so... I'm level 3 clearance. I pretty much know most of it. Oh yeah? Tell me what the meal is then. May Father Dagon forgive our naivete. Is that how you pronounce that? How should I know? Pulling the wool over our eyes with talk of raising the meal, the ultimate feast for the dreamer. Damn butcher, cobbling flesh together and raising that thing in Kraken Bay, that half goofer? It ain't natural! We talking GMOs here, or, uh... I ain't in the mood for joking! He played us good, Pescatori! The dreamer yet hungers, brother. Yeah, yeah, Cthulhu for Dagon! Fatagan indeed. We've let him down, brother! We raised that. Thing for the dreamer to feast on, and now we just might have to face it. Ooh, that flesh digger and lunatic ran away with it! Oh wow, we know that for sure? <laughs> Ain't that why you're here? To find out for sure? The elders won't let us regulars in the factory. Personally, I think he's long gone, but go ahead and find out. Thanks. Wait, wait, I got specific instructions though. You can go in, but only in the presence of Chief Piovra. Well, this couldn't be that easy, could it? So, where's Piavra? You're asking the wrong person, Fra. He's probably out boozing himself to death like he always do, right guys? Why do I keep talking to these mooks? Ugh, drinks like a fish, that Piovra. <sighs> Alright, I'll return with Piavra. See you guys. Salute! You say, uh, Father Dagon and uh, Mother Hydra are our, uh, Biggest problem! They are our biggest problem! And it has never been, uh, uh clearer that, uh, w w with their help, uh, we shall never, uh... Achieve anything! We shall never achieve anything, or know any other, uh, gods. Look around, brothers. Cast your, your eyes on the person next to you. What do you see? Well, I see a group of, uh... Losers! A 
group of losers like I've never uh, seen before. And our uh, numbers are always r rising. Make no mistake. Our um, uh, en en endeavor is a... Uh, uh, Waste of time! Our endeavor is a waste of time! Fear us! Uh, world! Take a good uh, hard look at us! For we shall bring uh, uh, nothing but. Um, uh, but. Um... Lemon cake and cotton candy! Lemon cake and cotton candy to your doorstep! Uh, we are uh, uh, the the next in in, in line uh, uh, for um. All right, that got him a little riled up. Brothers, uh, brothers, wait! It, it's a misunderstanding. I didn't mean. They're a bit more excited now. They're even more mad. We're getting there. Come to Papa, little glass. It's a chubby cultist, snoozing away in that comfy-looking armchair. Is that crazy guy outside gone, friend? Yeah, he's gone. I made sure of that. Whew. Well, I guess thanks are in order. Forgive me if I sound reluctant. I've just come to trust you cultists less lately. What happened that made you more reluctant? One of you socked me square in the face when I weren't looking. That's what. Yeah. No more respect for small businesses. Yeah. Not to mention the big franchises moving in and cannibalizing us little guys. Right. Cannibalism. Ugh. I mean, I ain't, I'm just trying to eat here, you know? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So, uh, what could I do you for, friend? Did a guy named Piavra happen to drop by your fine establishment? No offense, brother, but I'm smart enough to know I ain't supposed to be saying who's who and who ain't who, especially in these tense times, you know? Oh, I completely understand, and I appreciate the honesty. I wouldn't call the atmosphere tense exactly, more like completely insane. Oh, uh, you're just too trustworthy for me to keep my guard up, ain't you? Yeah, that's Piavra passed out in the armchair over there. I meant the ugly rumors about the meal. Strange. Oh, never mind. Just my big mouth get me in trouble again. I'll be on my way. Got myself up. It seems Chief Piovra's leathery outfit is stuck to the armchair. Alright, that seems to have loosened the armchair's grip on Piovra's rotund frame. Sure, I can pop him out, but how do I carry him? Hey, kid. Hey yourself, you stupid cultist. You dare disrespect the cult? What cult? Um, the, uh, the fish cult. Don't you mean the order, you dum-dum? Gosh, they'll just let any mouth breather in your little Girl Scouts club. Yeah, um, we've been, uh, lowering our standards uh, lately. And there you stand, living proof. So, how's things? What's with the wheelbarrow? What's with the wheelbarrow? 
Nice conversational spark up, Square. Well, you do have a wheelbarrow. Yeah, so? Can't be cool next to a wheelbarrow, cause you said so, Pops? Sheesh. Huh. I guess I really am a square now. Man, I used to be one of the cool... Yeah, don't say. Huh, <laughs> yeah, alright. I never was a cool kid. I guess I never really fit in, you know? What? Seriously? Yeah. Must be why I'm walking around in these ridiculous pajamas. Just trying to be accepted somewhere, you know? Oh, man. I... I feel you. Yeah, well, at least I got this. What? These stupid robes? Do they make you feel special, dude? I'm the same man underneath, but they like me more in these dumb rags, sister. Sister? It ain't the 70s anymore, Daddy-o. Anyway, man, whatever flies, you're dirigible. You know what I mean? Yeah, I dig. Far out, bruv. Can I let you in on a little secret? Wait, maybe I shouldn't. Your, your parents are probably in the esoteric order. Nah, man, they're not. My dad's a fisherman and that's it. All we do is deliver seafood to these wackos. What's the secret? Come on, tell me. All right, the, uh, the secret is... I'm not really a cultist. I'm a private investigator. I snuck in here because I'm working a case. Whoa, are you serious? That is so cool, oh my god! Yep, it's true. Name's Don. Don Katype. Awesome. I'm Joey. Nice to meet you, Joey. Yeah, man. Joey, you think I could borrow that wheelbarrow for a minute? Oh man, I would, but I'd really avoid getting on my dad's nerves right now. You know, I want to get a tattoo or a piercing soon. Something to express myself right. And he's like so against it. Like all he knows and cares about is fishing stuff. Says I'm gonna be a fisherman just like he is. Right, I gotcha. Hmm, let me think for a minute. Hey, Joey. What if you somehow got to express yourself and keep your dad happy, too? How would I do that? I have this fish hook. Think about it. Fish hook lip piercing. Your dad can't hate on that. It just screams fisherman. What do you say? That is so gnarly, dude. Awesome. Whew. All right, then. You think I could get that, uh, wheelbarrow for a couple of minutes? Sure, dude. Knock yourself out. Man, this is gonna look so sick. Woot woot! Yeah, uh, maybe clean it a bit before sticking it in your lip. I don't think it's entirely sanitary as is. Uh-huh. Thanks, Don. Sure thing. Hey, before I go... Later, Joey. Don't blow my cover, all right? Watch your back, Donny boy. Time to pop a cultist out of an armchair. Well, here we are in the presence of Chief Piavra. Porca vaca! But hard to tell how present he really is, but it's him all right. Ain't no discussion about that. All right, go right ahead. And Pescatori? Yeah? Well, I'm convinced he's long gone. But if by some dark miracle you do get a hold of him, show him what the EOD does to traitors. Ooh, show him good. You betcha. See you later, Pesce. Let him through, boys. Cthulhu for Doggin. All right, I was in. A cold, bluish-green light revealed parts of rusty machinery here and there. Everything else was drowned in inky black. Probably as black as the butcher's deeds, but that remained to be seen. I was in. Just one regret. 
I'll never know who Randolph really was. Let's pop this baby open. Alright, got myself a power tool. You ugly cultist! I'm not moving. Good, good. Okay, now what? Now you get to explain just what you're creeping around in the dark here for, cultist. I, I'm really not a cultist. Honest. Mm, okay, let me see here. Cultist ropes? Check. Lurking around in an abandoned factory? Check. I'm a private investigator in deep cover. That's not the only thing you're deep in, creep. What are you up to here? Don't lie. I can tell. I was just looking for you. Someone said a kid got lost in this abandoned factory, so... So here I am, your savior. Look, I'm not firing any warning shots because the noise will alert your buddies. So rely on me making all my bullets count. Ooh. Read that loud and clear. I'm investigating. I'm looking for a... Uh, well, at this point, I might call him a criminal mastermind, really. The Butcher. And how do I know you're not one of his henchmen, trying to lie your way out? Oof. Can't think of anything, really. There's just been so much going on lately, it's hard to wrap my head around everything. Let alone explain myself to a kid with a huge gun pointing at my noggin. I've got time. Ugh. To make an uh, extremely long and convoluted story short, I'm helping a friend unhumanize his cat, I think. Turns out, uh, when they can talk, they're real grouches. So, I'm trying to find out. Wait, what's this friend's name? Buzz. Oh, we'll talk about a coincidence. Is he a librarian? Only librarian I know what's got a talking cat, yeah. Wait, you're not shooting me now, are you? Whatever way they wronged you, I had nothing to do with it. Kitty can be a real... They actually got Mr. Gillsby back for me. I hate to say it, but they're kind of alright in my book. I, I... I mean, I hate them less than you cultists. Wait, you know Buzz and Kitty? Yeah, we swapped dolls a while ago. Back in Darkham. Well, that sounds perfectly... normal. Unlike what you are doing to the fishies, you... you bad, bad people! Kitty eats fish. You hate her too? Well, she can't help it, you dumb dumb, can she? She's a carnivore. That's natural. What you are doing is not. True enough, she's just a cat. And you're just a kid. I don't pretend to understand anything about you peep you kids. But I do know that at your age, you should be playing with dolls, not handling firearms. Come on, just hand it over. Not getting this gun. So step off, Grandpa. Oh, not you too. I'm I'm really not that old. You are old, and you stink like dead rotten fishies. Fishies you probably murdered with your stinky murdering hands. Actually, they were already dead, and they rained down on me like ironic, putrid offerings of the heavens. I can't tell if I'm more bored or annoyed with you at this point. I don't even like fish. I I mean, I don't like eating them. I've got nothing against them. Them. Again, not a cultist, but it might have something to do with whatever the butcher was working on in this very building. Yeah, well, we'll shed some light on that situation soon enough. I'm really not a cultist. My name's Don. Don Archetype. Hmm, Don doesn't sound like what a cultist name would be. I figured they'd all have names like... Oliver? Maybe like a really sad one? And they preyed on his weakness when they recruited him. Do you believe I'm not a cultist now? Not entirely. You'd better actually prove it. Alright, uh, I'm game, I guess. What are you thinking? If you're really here for the reasons you say you are, we're both looking for the same thing. The Butcher's Laboratory. Chop chop! I'll be supervising from up here. Sounds like a plan, uh, Miss... Priscilla. Are you sure? I'm sure! Get to it!
Strange. There's a discontinuity in the pattern here. I know Kung Fu. Aha! It's a heavy sliding door. Huge, sturdy sliding door. Riveted shut on its right side. Thank God for technology. I stepped inside and felt my teeth instantly chatter. This was some kind of cryo room and I didn't bring thicker underwear. Ugh. Come to Papa, sweet gasoline. Huh, one's missing. Good day to you, sir and young miss, if day it indeed be. You'll forgive my disorientation, I trust. I've been hauled up in here for quite a while. I suppose thanks are in order for opening that blasted door. Truly appreciate it. No offense, but uh, who or uh, what are you? Oh, do forgive my rudeness. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm quite sure that my name is Otis, but I'm afraid much of my biography is as much a question mark to myself as it is to you. I'm not wrong in surmising that this is the first time you're engaging in conversation with a human-octopus hybrid, correct? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm kind of at a loss for words here. Don't worry, Mr. Octopus Person. I like you. You're kind of a fishy, so you're okay. Haha, <laughs> well, yes, young miss. I assume I am. Aren't I? Please, call me Otis. Nice to meet you, Otis. I'm Basilla. And this guy over here is Dawn. He's a private detective. Yes, she believes me. But anyway. Now I'll get back to you, Otis. As you wish, dear sir. Drink up, big buddy. There you go. I'd gotten the in- At least now, any loud noises would be covered by the engine's humming. I'm going to call it Alice. Nothing to report yet. Severely out of range. Nothing to It's a hatch in this, uh, this thing, but it's dark. That's one impressive, gigantic door. Locked. Lock it! Lock it! Leave the shut up! Nothing to repeat.
What, uh... I do remember my name was Otis. I did... Strange... Did you see the butcher? Yeah. Did you? I'm afraid I don't know what butcher you speak of. Well, everything's a bit foggy, you understand. All I can remember are masked men rushing about with all kinds of strange instruments. Their speech was muffled, so it was pretty hard to make anything out, I'm afraid. Dang it. I do remember them referring to me as a dry, if that helps at all. Do you know where the laboratory is? Yes, I do. You, you don't want to go in there, do you? Indeed, we're chatting away when we should be getting out of here at this very instant. No one's going anywhere until we reach the lab. Oh dear, I must be frank with you, young miss. I intend to leave the premises as soon as possible and suggest you do the same. Come on, Otis, work with us. You ain't gotta go back in there, just help us get in. Oh, heavens, well, all right. I suppose I owe you a debt of gratitude. The laboratory is right outside this chamber and to the right. Hey kid, I think I thought of a way to get us past those huge doors, but I need you to trust me, okay? What do you mean? I'm gonna need that gun of yours. Fine, I trust you. Do not let me down! That's a promise, Priscilla. It's been a while, but here goes. I got rid of the glass above the door to the lab. Seeing as you're the only one with suction cups, think you could do us a solid and get inside the lab through there? Oh dear! I suppose I can. To be perfectly honest, I'm shaking in my non-existent boots just at the thought of going back in there. Come on, you can do it, Otis. Yeah, you go, Otis. I appreciate your support, dear friends. <sighs> All right, here I go. Oh dear! Oh lord! Oh, it's it's all coming back now. The pits, the horrible pits, the non-dries, the horrible gnashing and gnawing, and oh, this is too much to bear. Oh God, what is that? Oh, oh, what do you know? It's a coin. <laughs> Oh, and of, of course, n no pockets to put it in. Great! Oh god, the abominations! Focus, Otis! Focus! Uh, 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 Alright, it's open. Wow. Thanks, Otis. You are incredibly brave. Gee, yes, c uh, c could I please go now? There are horrible things in there, and I don't wish to spend another second in their vicinity. Where are you headed to, Otis? I, uh... Oh. It appears I really have no place to go, do I? <sighs> yeah, I thought that might be the case. Look, here's my office back in Darkham. The key's under the doormat. Make yourself at home until you, uh, think things through, all right? How exactly is he going to make it there without attracting attention? You're right. Hey, I have an idea. Priscilla, you should mail him to my address. You know, like a, like a pet or something. But I want to see the laboratory and save the fishies. You said it yourself, Otis is sort of a fishy, and he needs your help. Once you mail him, you can come back and we'll explore together. What do you say? I... I guess you're right. But don't explore too much without me, you hear? You can count on me, partner. Don't get ahead of yourself. See ya! Many thanks again! All the best! Oh, it's jolly good to get a second chance, isn't it? So many opportunities! Like? Hmm, let's see ya. Why? Why, I could be on telly, my dear. The one true talking head out there. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> See, little one, always keep a positive outlook. Ew, ow. T just a second. Stepped in some oily thing here. Ew. Well, I guess it's slithered, actually, isn't it? <laughs> You're funny, Otis. Well, that was surreal. <sighs> All right, let's see what secrets this place holds. It's a dark, deep pit, but down there I can just make out something wrong, squirming around.
Its only feature is a big red button. Press this button, worm, and we all die. Katype's got leverage. Looks like a view of this room, from above. And there's a cage hanging overhead. Huh. So the button opens both the door and the monster's pits. Devious. That's one monstrosity secured and all the rest of them loose. That's all the creeps loose, but at least I'm safe once I press this button. <sighs> I don't see a better option. I hate to admit it, but I was shaken. Experiments are not. Scientific reality or abhorrent supernatural nightmare. These horrible blobs of flesh, limb, and rot existed. I could still smell their indescribable presence, even though they were all gone. God knows where. It really takes a lot to shake me, but I... I was shaken. Yeah, I might need these. I was in. I was inside the butcher's inner sanctum and I had expected this place to be lousy with guts and gore and parts and pieces, but, but this wasn't that. This was, well, colorful. Colorful in a way that makes a Joe uneasy and it set me to wondering what this guy had for triangles. So many triangles. A couple of vertical openings. Something's missing here. Yeah, this fits. But if this is a power generator, it might make for a shocking experience. I've put a nice round hole in it. All right, got myself a shock-free switch. Yes! Power's back on. Right! Point right! Left! Point left! It's definitely a control panel. Thank you. 
No end to the work. Nothing on the cover but a triangle. Idiot! Left toward the bay, right toward the EOD! Get it through your thick skull! What did we do? Trusted the butcher, put our faith in the carnifex. Double crossed by that that freak, denying the dreamer his meal, running away with it. That was his payment for our stupid misplaced loyalty. How do you think this looks like in the eyes of Father Dagon, huh? And I tell you right now. It is as clear as pure seawater to me that the starry knowledge was always behind that lunatic. I know some of you do not see the starry fools as a threat. Ha! You think me mad? You think I am making this up? This very night, a false preacher was spouting blasphemies about Mother Hydra and Father Dagon right outside the Finman house. Good thing a true believer cast the first stone. Well, egg. And the crowd swiftly dealt with the poisonous snake. B -b but it happened. Truly it has happened in our fishmeth during our festival. Huh? Hunter! Sacrifices! Yes. Suffering squids! Sacrifices will be necessary! Oh, yes! Stinking stingrays! He did butcher us, didn't he? on you! Huh? Stars, I thought these guys were all about I fish. I tell you, brethren, these insidious story knowledge maggots know no Son shame and be not fooled. Huh? That's strange. ENOUGH OF THIS MASQUERADE! I KNEW IT! TREASON! There is but one true god, you fish-loving heathens! And his name is... The Haunter! 
How dare you speak that name in the house of Dagon! You broke into our temple and stole the Dramosahedron! Now you're going to pay! We'll feed you to the fish! Give us the book! Now you give us the book! Oh my god, little kid! Wh what are you doing? As Rome burned and Nero watched and fiddled, so too we witnessed the fish take vengeance on the fishermen. Not sure it's the right comparison, Mr. Bizarra. I'm just worried about the kid. No need, Gramps. I'm well and happy. No one's hurting the fishies anymore. And their bellies are nice and full now. You really shouldn't have witnessed that. Except you sort of made it happen. Well, it's all over now, Grandpa. Look. Water's draining, and the fishies are returning home! A perfect ending of the festival for everyone. Hooray! <sighs> Don't call me Grandpa. <laughs> Okie doke, I'll be on my way. Before Mom and Dad and Grandma notice that I'm missing. It's been fun. See you around. Take care, kid. Crazy world we live in, huh, Mr. Basara? Thank you for your business, by the way. I sincerely don't know whether thanks are in order. I... I'm more confused with each passing hour, but my resolve grows stronger. So, what are you doing in this building of all places? Keeping tabs on the esoteric order? Looking for Olmstein? Sightseeing? You might joke about the sightseeing, but that is part of why I'm here. All across this accursed world, the storm rages ever more powerful, and I strongly expect some kind of... some kind of sign soon. What sign? And why here of all places? Maybe a reason for a bell to ring through a terrible storm. News sure does travel fast. This is the highest steeple in Fishmouth with the grandest, most resonant bell in miles. This is where I'll wait for a sign, for as long as it takes. And awaken the beast? How do we know that's a good thing? We don't, but it is written, so it shall come to be. This could be the start of a fascinating philosophical debate, if only we had time. I need answers. I need to know what the hell's going on here. Ask. There is this sign that's associated with Olmstein. Tell me what you think it means. Could be the visual representation of a formula. A constellation. Could be a map. Hmm. Thanks. I'll give it some thought. I don't have time for this. I've gotta go. I gotta meet Buzz and Peace and try to put the pieces together. The other guide you. Do your best to find out where the Butcher is headed, and put an end to his plans, whatever they are. I will stay here and... Wait for a sign. See ya, Barney. Don't call me that. Hey, kids. He's back! Nice place you've got here, Don! Glad to see you made it all right, buddy. Scared the living daylights out of us. No offense, dude. None taken! Yeah, Fishmouth was interesting. Met your dad finally, Peace. Oh yeah? Is he alright? He's good. He's in a steeple, waiting for a sign. Sounds like dad. Can we please skip the niceties and put our heads together? Right. I made my way into the butcher's laboratory. Ah! Sorry, bad flashback. Would you please excuse me? Sure thing, Otis. Go get some rest.
The butcher. He wasn't still there, was he? I just missed him. What did you find that could be relevant? The stabilizing element. Olmstein's constant. What did that say again? A terrible storm and three bells ringing throughout its shell. Awaken the beast. What are your thoughts on it? The end of all this. What Peace said when I called you guys. It makes sense. I just don't know that I want all this to end with a beast awakening. None of us really do. I stand by my conviction. Just like the Necronomicon, this is all just ever-changing chaos. So Olmstein wrote the ending down and set it in stone. Wrote the ending? What does that even mean? He is not like us. Can't you grasp the concept of divinity? If he wrote it down, it will happen. Oh, man. MCHK seemed to be an important acronym. What's that about? I don't think I have enough data to speculate. Bummer! Either way, he apparently used the cult to get the monster bred and fed, and then ran away with it to who knows where. The half goofa. What? What will he do with it? Huge biological weapon under your control. I can think of a number of things. Oh boy. We need to get this guy. That's great and all, but you know, my problem? Remember what this is really all about? The Butcher and Olmstein? There's a connection there. We gotta stop always being one step behind them. The festival. Fishmouth really knows how to party. What I can say for sure is that the Esoteric Order has been brought down a few notches. And so is the Starry Knowledge Cult. Nice going, man! Wasn't me who did it. It was a short, weird little girl who really loves her fishies. That actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah, other than that, I'm afraid Fishmouth and its creepy inhabitants remain a mystery. For now. Where are we on Olmstein's sign? I'm stumped. What do you think it could be? Uh, Constellation? See, that was the first thing we thought of, but it doesn't match any known stars. Still feels like something viewed from above. Wait, I have an idea. Hand over that mouse buzz. Maybe it's a map. There was a bell in Paris. There was a bell in Fort Maris. Dawn, you said my dad's in a steeple in Fishmouth. There's a bell there, too. What do you know? It's Point Nemo! Point... what? Earth's pole of inaccessibility. It's the one point in the ocean that's farthest from any land. There should be nothing there. Hmm... Maybe look it up in uh, recent news on that, uh, uh, the, th the thing there. Looking it up on the thing. Okay, what I'm finding are crazy conspiracy theories about expeditions to Point Nemo going back more than a century. Anything remotely recent? Decades ago, a ship called The Alert rumored to be carrying a huge cargo of explosives never returned apparently sounds uh, encouraging so we've got three bells plus point nemo that's got to be it we're going right hold your horses buddy say we go there what do we do about the bells i can get a hold of vlad i can find a way to reach dad i got serge eating out of my palm so I'm sure we can coordinate. Ring them all at once. We can awaken the beast, but do we want to? Or does that help the Butcher? Think about it. If he ran away with it, it means that the Butcher's in control of this monster. This beast, right? Just a theory, but these bells might snap the creature out of it. Yeah, three bells ringing thousands of miles away. Completely realistic. No, it makes a lot of sense, and it fits the constant. Let's get in touch with all three of them and tell them to, uh, wait for a sign. We're a creative bunch. We'll come up with something should we need to, right? 
preparedness has always been our forte. What do I really have to lose at this point? The end of the world it is. It's just the farthest point from land. It doesn't really end there. It doesn't, huh? Tell me more. This is going to be one long trip. Ladies and gents, it's kinda crazy, but we're really here. As far away from civilization as humanly possible. Not just humanly. Oh, right. Three months worth of rent money says what we're looking for is on the top of that mountain over there. I don't know. Did you see that crazy looking beach? I think our best bet is to split up and- Search for clues? Well, yeah, actually. It might increase our chances of finding this butcher. Peace, how about we take the mountain? Well, Cat, I hope you brought sunblock, cause it's time to hit the beach. Buzz, don't make this worse than it has to be. I'm sorry, I'm, 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 I'm nervous. Nervous? Okay, scared. I'm really, really freaking scared. Let's do this. And whoever finds the butcher first? Actually, I, I don't know. Uh, fingers crossed.